All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So over the course of the last few videos, I've been getting this Nova ready to house two liter turbocharged 16 valve engine out of a Calibra turbo. So in my last video, I made a chassis notch for alternator clearance. So in this video, I want to concentrate on stitch welding the car. Now that is for extra strength, extra protection, to house the big engine. So basically, these panels are spot welded together. Now that is fine for a production car, but with a car of this nature, with this kind of power, we need something a little bit more. So what I'm basically going to do is an inch weld, then an inch gap, inch weld, inch gap, across all the structural seams. So basically across the chassis leg here, around the engine mounts, around the tie rod mounts, all them areas, which will be under a lot of load. This will just make it a little bit stronger and put a lot less load on the original spot welds. Now there is still rust to sort on this car. For example, this area here is pretty bad. Um, and I will do that, but I'm going to do it in a later video. So now I'm going to concentrate on stitch welding it and making the areas which are good really strong. So before I begin welding, I need to clean up all the seams. So I'm going to use a wire wheel, a grinding disc, various attachments, sandpaper, etc., to try and get rid of all the paint, all the under seal, all the sealer, all the surface rust, etc., etc., to make a nice clean weld. So let's make a start. As this side's pretty much sorted with rust. I'm going to start on this one. So I'm using my trusty old belt sander to start with. All right, guys, so I've cleaned up under here, as you can see, all around the seams. That is ready for stick folding. Obviously, I do need to do that, ignore that. Round here, it's all good. And also the inside seams, all nice and clean. So again, ready for stitch welding. I have come across a little problem on the tie rod mount. So I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna put some two mil plate there to make it nice and strong. Because this area does get pulled around a lot with the big engine. Obviously that bit's all right. A little bit of service rust on the chassis leg, but they're quite thick, so I'm not too worried about that. So I'm gonna start stitch welding and then I'll chop that out afterwards. So I'm literally going to do every inch, so try and mark it out. So let's see what happens then. So my advice when welding cars is to get the panels as clean as possible. However, you can never get them perfect. Now, a lot of these panels are sandwiched together. And if you're working on 30 year old cars, you're going to have bits of surface rust between them, bits of pain, bits of under so you can't get out. So don't expect a perfect weld when doing it, but you should be able to get a fairly good penetration and so it will look half decent. I've got a blow through, so I'm going to use a little bit of copper pipe, flattened over on the other side, and then I can weld through it without it sticking to the copper, and it'll fill the gap up easier. Another top tip from me is make sure that if you are welding, for example, things like bulkheads, sills, floors, stuff like that, make sure the other side of the area where you're welding is free from under seal, carpets, interior trims, stuff like that. For example, if you're welding a bulkhead, make sure you pull the carpet and all the sound bends in back. Because if you don't, it could very easily catch fire. Happened to me once, and you can get in a mess very, very quick. So I do not advise that. If you can, strip everything out the way, get a fire extinguisher ready, because you do not want that to happen to you. And obviously, just be sensible and keep checking your work, and don't finish welding and then lock up and leave it, because there could be a little fire which you don't know about. Right, guys, that is one side done. So I need to repair this. And I also just need to repair this little bit here. It shouldn't be too bad because the hole's very minor on the other side. As you can see, I've stitched all down the legs. Nice and strong. Really happy. So I'm going to use a one millimeter cutting disc and then cut this out. Now the radiator is getting moved over to the centre to allow fitment of the intercooler. So this can go as well. So I'm just going to cut all this out and plate it. Right, so it's all cut out and I clean the inside the best I can and I put a bit of primer in just to protect it. Now what I'm going to do it is double skin there, but they're quite thin skin. So I think I'm going to put a thicker plate in and just buzz it around the best I can, make it as strong as possible. So let's do that now. 
So I've just cut this little template out. Now I'm going to cut this out of some 2mm thick steel. Right, plate's made. I've primed the back, so I'm now going to weld it in. Right guys, as you can see, I've welded that and cleaned it back, all dressed. And we've also, as you can see, stripped the base. I've taken the servo off and taken the steering rack off. Steering rack's held on with four M8 nuts, as is the servo. There's a little clip what goes in the brake bar there, and there's also the UJ what goes inside there. So it's really straightforward to get out, and as you can see, it gives me a lot more room. So I've also dressed this side back. Obviously, this bit needs cutting out. However, I can still do most of the stitch welding on this side. Right, I'm going to crack on with the rest of the stick welding now. So there we go guys, the engine bay is completely stick welded. And it's a lot stronger than it once was. So I now feel confident that this could house a 2 litre engine and be able to take the abuse it deserves. So next week's video, I'm going to tackle this monstrosity. Now it might not look that bad, but this is full of filler. It's been plated there, it's been plated at the bottom, and it's a right mess. But not only that, the worst thing is it's actually cracked behind this panel here. So if I left this, the car would rip in half. So this definitely needs solving. So once again guys, if you can show your support by hitting that like button, leaving a comment and subscribing and then next week you can see me cut out this panel and see exactly what was behind it because I am very concerned about this. Stay tuned for more guys, see you next week. Bye bye.